Uh, welcome back. Let's solve this problem. Lexicographically smallest string after operation with constraints from the weekly contest 392. So personally, I felt the problem description was a bit complex, but I will try. I will make. I will try that. I can explain you the problem description clearly. So for better understanding, please watch the video till the end. So here you are given a string s and an integer k. We need to define a function distance s1 comma s2 between two strings s1 and s2 of the same length n as the sum of the minimum distance between the indexes same indexes not the different s1 of i and s2 of i when the characters from a to z are placed in a cyclic order what is mean by cyclic order like suppose we have a to z we are going right then then it is it is this is my one index consider this is my 26 from here my a will start again a b c d like consider this as 27 this is 28 it will go till z which is 52 so this is my cyclic array you can say or else you can consider like this a to z and z to a this is mean by cyclic order now for example a b and c d as given you are given a b and c d so if you see a to c my distance is 2 b to d my distance is 2 so overall sum is 4 so we need to calculate this distance and same with a to z now you will see a to z if you are going a to z it is like 26 it is 1 so 26 minus 1 which will be 25 ok you will say 25 but you can see here this is in cyclic order that means when z occurs it can go in this way so z to a you can reach in only one operation this is the crux of the problem so i think you have understood it what does cyclic order means and what is my constraint now let's understand what he is asking you can change any letter of s to any other lowercase english letter he is saying that you can take one character and you can change into any lowercase english letter and we can do that any number of times and we need to return the lexicographically smallest what is lexicographically smallest so it is like a b c and you have a b a b and you have x y so which is my lexicographically smallest one right so guess which is one so think not guess so definitely a b is my lexicographically smallest one then it is a b c then it is x y so in lexicographically smallest element we will check all the index zeros then we will check all the index 1s, index 2s, in this way we will check. So whichever occurs minimum, so that will be my minimum element. So we need to string t, you can get after some changes such that, so distance of s comma t should be less than or equals to k. He is saying that you need to perform the operations in such a way that uh, my string should be lexicographically smallest and it should be less than or equals to k number of operations. So maximum you can perform k, k number of operations. Let us see this example we have z b b z z b b and z we have k is equals to 3 so to make lexicographically smallest first thing we need to start from the first element right first element we will try to make as small as possible so we have z so best possible to make is a right if you make a it will take one operation so my operations left are 2 now we are at b so it will take one operations b to a reverse order so my operations are 1 one left so b yes if i can convert into a so my element elements are done triple a z will be my smallest answer you can see here you can see now let's consider this example uh, we have x a x c d we are discussing these many examples because we will be understanding this problem very clearly so we have four now x we have you can consider x y z then we are occurring a so how many steps it will take 1, 2 and 3. So my steps left are 1. So it will be converting into A. Now we have A. A right. Same. It will be A. Now you have X. Now we have X. Uh, how X will occur? W, X, Y and Z. You need to perform one operations. My X should convert into W. Not Y right. If you convert into Y it will become maximum. So we need to decrease it. So X will be converted into W. So you can convert into W and C and D. So you can see the answer A, A, W, C, D because your operations are done. You can perform more operations but my operations are done so you can see this as my answer. So and given lul, okay, k is equals to 0 and it is same. And the constraints are h dot length is 100, k is equals to 
2000 so let's think how you can solve this type of problems so to solve this type of problems if you if you know constructive algorithms like constructive algorithms there's something we'll try to build build some sort of array some sort of string and we will check whether this my string is valid or not this is like a constructive algorithms so let's think how you can do this so i think you have tried this problem for at least 15 minutes try to give it a try because this is one of the best problems in lead code so this is like a logical problem where you can improve your problem solving skills now i hope that you have tried it let's see what exactly you can do here now what i will do is i will take every element i will take every element we have z b b z i will take every element z and i will try to convert into a or b or c or i will i will try to make a b c or d anything till z till z i will try to make i'll try to convert z into any of these characters any of these characters remember any of these characters and these total characters are only 26 so we need 26 operations okay 26 operations you need so first thing first what i will do is i will iterate i will iterate and i will check from a to z from a to z first i will try to convert z to a z to a so how you can convert how you can convert z to a uh, if it is valid i will replace it with a if it is not valid then i will check with b if it is not valid then i will check with c in the same way i will i will iterate till z for every element in that way in that way we can get the lexicographically smallest one right so i think you are understanding and you are in the same same path with with me now let's see to go to z to a now consider we have z and we have a z is my 26th index and one is my one consider consider for not ascii values it's like indexes you can think now what i will do is d1 is equals to 26 minus 1 which will be 25 if you are coming from the back if you are coming from the back back means a to z if you are converting z to a it will be like 25 steps 25 steps but you know it's in cyclic path but it's in cyclic path you can go to z to a you can go to z to a only using single path only using single path how, how you can do that how you can do that it's simple it's simple now now i will explain you we have one this is my 20 25 and a is 26 and this is my z this is my z consider one and we have 10 we have 10 uh, it can be in any element think about it so i don't know which element that is a this is a this is z we have 10 first thing first if you go, want to reach a if you want to reach a first step is 10 minus 1 right 10 minus 1 which will be my 9 which will be my 9 or else what you can do you can go till 26 you can go till 26 it will be like how many steps 26 minus 10 and you are 1 and you need to add extra 1 here that will be plus 1 because your a is present here your a is present here so it will be like total of 17 steps so in this way which is minimum 9 and 17 9 is my minimum so i will try to do in this uh, this conversion i will try to do now let's see another example now we have 1 24 and 26 now to convert directly to convert directly my d1 will be 24 minus 1 which is 23 which is 23 now we have 26 now 26 we have here so or else what you can do 26 minus 24 plus this character plus this character which is 1 so it will be my 3 in this way d2 i am getting 3 if you are going in this path you are getting 23 steps if you are going from the back you are getting only 3 steps only 3 steps so now consider this example you consider k is equal to 1 that means you can maximum you can perform one operation so first i will think okay first i will try to convert it into a first i will try to convert into a we have we are at 4 so 4 minus 1 which is 3 if you are going from the back or if you are going from the front it will be 26 minus 4 which is 22 plus this is 1 which will be 23 23 so 3 steps and 23 steps um, i can't reach now you will come for second index 4 minus 2 which is 2 from the this direction if you want to go from the front front it will be like 26 minus 4 plus 2 i need to do because you are going to b b position so it will be 24 so it's also not feasible now you are coming to c 4 minus 3 which is 1 from the 
back from the back it is 1 from the front from the front it will be 25 if you calculate so i can reach i can reach so i will replace my d with c if my k is equals to 1 so i think you have got it so what exactly we are doing so try to think try to think the logic and then we can see the coding part so i i hope that you will uh, you are able to think about it now let's see the coding part it's simple you will iterate from a to z a to z and d1 is equals to s of i minus ch that means we are subtracting every element a b c d n every element we are subtracting and if my d1 is less than or equal to 0 break why we are breaking it's simple now suppose we are at element 10 suppose we are at element 10 and if you are if you want to con if you want to minimize it we need to replace with the left side elements suppose my ch has reached till 11 ch has reached till 11 10 minus 11 which is minus 1 if you convert this into this element 11 element it will be increased right so i don't want to do that and he is asking minimum number of steps so i will say i will i will not use that step i will not use that step and i will try to break it out from the loop i will break it from the loop or else this is my uh, this direction like uh, if you are in this direction suppose we have a some a is like 1 uh, 7 this direction if you are come if you want to come come, uh, come from the cyclic direction what you can do it's simple it's simple 26 minus what we have done here 26 minus 10 plus this index so it's like 26 minus d1 right directly because if you if you convert it it will be like 26 minus s of i plus ch that means 26 26 minus this index this index plus how many characters you are going front how many characters you are going front that is plus ch in this way we are calculate the minimum d is equals to minimum of d1 comma d2 and if my d is less than or equals to k if d is less than or equals to k i will say f is equals to 1 and i will push back my ch into my answer because that will be my minimum and i will decrement my k and i will break it and i will break it and if my f is equals to 0 that means we are not replaced with any character so i will replace directly which character is present directly i will replace it and finally i am going to return the answer so if you see here i think you have got it i have tried my best to explain you so think about the time complexity here my time complexity will be time complexity will be order of here every time we are iterating 26 right it will be 26 into n so suppose if interviewer ask you to optimize most further so i was not able to come up with the solution in the contest but i have seen the solutions tab where i found out like there are few solutions with order of n so i will try i will try to explain but i can't guarantee you i can explain you in a much better way suppose we will be trading and ch minus a we are doing ch minus a which is we are doing here same thing same thing ch minus a but we are only considering a element and same z minus ch plus 1 that means 26 minus ch plus 1 only what exactly we have done here 26 minus s of h plus ch ch means ch is a that's why we are taking 1 and we are calculating the minimum minimum of left comma right if my k is greater than minimum if my k is greater than minimum that's a i can replace any character with a i can replace any character with a so i replaced with a then what he did then what he did if he is not able to replace some character with a then then uh, you have some value k right suppose you are at uh, d and your k is equals to 2 and you can't convert d to a d to a so what you can do you can convert d to b right d to b so you have done the same thing ch is equals to ch minus k and at that time my k will be definitely be 0 because if you are not able to convert it to a you can convert it into any other character and my k will be definitely be a 0 so we are making it 0 and finally we are returning the answer so it will be like order of n so i think you have got it so if you learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so you can join the whatsapp community code with confidence we will discuss the glitch code contest and daily challenges problem there and you can connect me on linkedin it's given in the description so thank you